We better we better go in a room late night. By late night I mean it's practically morning. It's two twenty two in the morning. Chapter three, the ones that got away. Wednesday after school. You sit down in the saxophone section next to her skin with short hair. Hey, I'm Gary. You are? Cameron, nice to meet you. Can you help me turn up? You nod into your to your saxophones. Soon as one calls everyone to attention. Why would God spare people? Why would I play some dumb music? Get ready by it. Get ready by it. In this little bow and joins Ezra at the front. Bring some changes to know the piece to fit the season and add in some new sessions. For all long in the sheet of music, while the demonstrating the melody starting at bar 15. And plays a beautiful melody, which when was shut down, he stops and looks up. That's terrific. Honestly, you know what? Honestly, who in the right mind will make this a 6 8 time signature? 3 4 would be much simpler and more elegant. In front of him. That's. That's. Maybe. I'll consider it. Gary, that's what I was done at Bible 120 Joys. Hey, what would you mind? Hey, that's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, I don't mean to spoil the moment, but shouldn't it be an audience for a solo? I was first chair back in Hearst. But they have a point. I should also be first chair for clarinet, and I can prove it in five minutes. Unless it's favoritism because Gary's from your school. Well, then, I'm not playing favorites. Is it the right point you should get a chance? <laughs> you know I'm honored in the week. Your cameraman's right. I just want a chance to show what I can do. I was gonna say, how do we know their name already? I forgot. I literally forgot we entered. Like, how do we know their name? I literally forgot. The, like, the first piece of dialogue literally started off with Gary saying, Hi, I'm Gary. You are? And then they said, I'm Cameron. I'm Cameron. Nice to meet you. I am. I. Again, it's two. It's like two in the morning. I'm. I'm, I'm not here at all. <laughs> Sponsored by whatever drink I have with me right now. Okay. <laughs> when I find out, they are definitely not. Uh, Alani. Alani. They're definitely not going to sponsor me after I just said that. <laughs> I'm about to just keep reading, not stop with this extraness. But at the same time, it was kind of funny. I, I, I was like, I just got caught off. Like, um, how do we know their name's Cameron? Like, I mean, I know their name's Cameron because I've read this book already. But how does Gary know? No one said it. And I, like, literally just forgot Gary asked the name. Also, this drama, I, I didn't see this drama before. I saw the one with the baseball team. It was a, you were, I don't know what the position is that you were going to be for um, baseball. But they decided to have trials for you and Jade to complete. And they thought oh, they were just going to give it to me because, well, I'm a berry kid. <laughs> Man, would, be able, would you be okay with opening up additions? Seems only fair. <laughs> okay, Gary, you'll take the cello from part 120 to 140, and Gary can pick it up until 165. <laughs> Got it, thank you. Look up the notes in front of you and read A-G-E. Okay, age. Remember that, kid. 3, 2, 1, play. The band begins and you play along with them. See when you reach the solo. Shit. Whoa, that was fast. I'm, I'm holding the phone in one hand and the microphone in the other. I'm not gonna be able to hit the buttons that fast. Okay, okay, stop it. I have to this to my shirt belt if I can. Get the first note perfectly, paying attention to your tone and, and push it. In. Beautiful. Age, it's just age. Take deep breath for the next note. You can only hear G, feeling the butt weirdo in your chest as you play. Magnificent. Okay, it's really good. You prepare for the last and the se sequence. I swear I didn't see E, I almost see. You hit the last note with Stalin X E. Yeah, 
Try to stream music room. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Karen takes over. He had nearly every note with precision and ease. Dang, you're good. I thought she's in this class. I got marbles in this class. The piece ends. You will give us a down your instruments and look at Ezra as presently. So, what did you think? We all sounded like good. I was to say you were sight reading. I agreed. That sounded even better than I did in my head. <laughs> you both beam take him. Can't much clue better. Let's be your train from the first. Just little stairs, yes. Actually, certainly it's not of yours. What does that mean? It means that, for now, you'll switch off playing a solo each time practice. We have four more additions later on before the concert. What? You can't be serious. You have to pick one of them. Oh, yeah? Which one you pick, Aiden? Alright. Poor Taken. I just need time to decide, alright? Let's stop right and take it from the top. You sigh and pick up your sides, trying not to look at Cameron. But I like them. Do I always think that? Why are we gonna start shipping? Damn, I like <laughs> A few hours later. But you were stopping by your logging before heading home for the day when Cameron approaches you. Hey, listen. I hope you're not upset about my wanting to show I don't know what voice to do for them. You know? Like, I need, like, some sort of direction, like, a, a voice to do with the character. Like, you know? I don't mean to put gender in it, but I, like, quite literally need some gender behind it. Like a male, I can do like a, a deeper, more of a you know, guy sound of voice, you know, and it's vice versa if you're like a woman. But I can't, I don't, I, I don't know what direction to go for a non-binary person. I wasn't trying my voice too high, but I'm trying to get too low. But I, I don't want to put like right in the middle, because then that, that's just my normal voice, and my normal voice is what means for Gary, so I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying. I just really liked it, and it would be an honor to play, and there aren't many sock solos. Oh, uh, Gary, of course I'm not mad. Your talent is that clear. Hey, thanks. You're pretty good yourself. I'm surprised you can pop your compliment to me. Why? See, see now, now they have the same voice. Like, now both Gary and Cameron have the same voice by accident. <laughs> I'm used to musicians being too competitive to as like human beings. Well, that's not how I do things. I'm making Gary's voice a little higher. This will be cool then. Anytime, good luck. Good luck. Now I gotta go. You can wave goodbye to each other. You finish packing up to head home, still worry about the upcoming auditions. That evening. Okay, we're still friends with him. You're hanging out at home with, with Emma and your dad when you hear a knock on the door. Who could that be? No, Gary. It was to say he was there. That's like a good reason for him not to say that. Do you hurry to the door? Do I find a curvy blonde woman standing on the front porch? And he asked Gary. Hi, I'm Julia. Where's mom? She left her phone in the car. <laughs> she hands Emma her phone. Please to meet you, Julia. I don't even know Julia, you said no. She was a... Your father suddenly stops speaking as his jaw drops. Wait a second. Julia Mason? She was having for a moment stunned. Oh my god. Got Hunter? Is that you? Hang on, you two know each other? Your dad doesn't seem to hear you. Julia, it's very nice to see you again. Since, you know, my kids go to school together. Anyway, you look great. I don't know, but thank you. You too. Would you like to stay for a movie? Maybe a class or something? I, um, love to, but I was just on my way to work. Goodbye. She quickly hurries up, and you see a look at the support me across your father's face. Oh, uh, okay. Bye. Do you return to the living room? You must sit down on the couch and you give your father a question and look. So, Ms. Hunter, I hear you tell you're not my mom. What do you mean? You guys seem pretty fussy about there. You too. Date? What? No. Okay, so you definitely dated. Dad shakes his head. We never dated. Though. So, wait a second. Julia Mason. She was the one that wrote you with a letter in your skin yearbook. I know if I just said names somewhere. 
Yes, that was her. So you think that's what happened? Your dad pauses and shakes his head again. You don't want to hear your old, your old man stories. Are you trying to watch the movie? <laughs> I get him. Tell me what happened. Tell us what happened. Okay, okay. Here, kids. Taste some popcorn. Long, long time ago, in the year 1990. It was the first day of ninth grade, and I just moved to town. It was a lot of cold yard for someone to eat lunch with. Just say Scott, we know his name. Hey, can I say wait? No, okay. They probably give up or any in the cafeteria, but suddenly the most beautiful girl you've ever seen since we were you. Right. Is it okay if I stay with you? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess you can. I guess you enjoy me. Yeah, I was scared to sit in the cafeteria. That was such a suicide pattern for you. For you? What's that? Bye for school. Yes, I had a red uniform. Yes, it was ugly. No, that wasn't why I left. I was just moved from New York. No, not the city. Yes, I've been there. No, I didn't meet any famous people. Okay, you win. Do you sit down on the grass and start talking? So Scott, why did she know it? Wait, why did he say his name? I am not paying attention to nothing. Two thirty three. Well, I'm not paying attention to shh. Why did he say his name? What did he do an introduction? What? Huh? When did it? Did, did they already know each other? Or did they introduce each other? Like, we don't pay. What? I would say I will watch this video back to find out, but then I have to hear myself talking. I don't, I don't want to. So Scott, what's the one thing you want to do more than anything else before you die? That's deep. What should I talk about your life in New York? Do you say? Did I say the biggest? That, that answer. Really? Is that your honest answer? Don't ask questions, you don't want the answer to. That's the most original answer I've ever heard to that question. I think we're going to get along. I think we're going to get along. Fine. How about you, Julia? You want to do more than anything else. Oh, my God. And that's why I ask other people. My inspiration. I guess you could say my goal in life is to find a goal. Maybe I can help you. I like that. Julia was the first friend I made in high school. My best friend and my first crush. Oh yeah? Why did you ask out? You were gonna Gary that I was a stupid teenage boy. I never even tried. Well, that was this one time. It was New Year's Eve of sophomore year. And it's definitely Martin drew a huge party. I made my resolution to kiss Julia at midnight. And for the first hour of the party, everything was going so well. Oh, Scott, just tell me a new year's resolution. <laughs> if I tell you, Julia, it will come true. That's what we wish is that resolutions. Besides, the whole point is that you keep doing for about five minutes, then you give up. Well, if all goes going to plan, we won't need more than five minutes. This more cool that she bows and gets at the clock one more hour. <laughs> Say, it's getting a bit crowded in here. We should go outside. Maybe for a walk, just the two of us. Maybe later. I'm feeling kind of thirsty. You sure? Okay. Dude. I, I know I've already read this, but I can't react to anyone, so you guys are getting my reaction. Dude. Come on! I'm stupid, but if I can catch on to that. You head to the kitchen and start pouring two glasses of sparkling cider, and the tall guy in a baseball cap walks through the door. Julia's face lights up, and she runs over to him. Jeremy? What are you doing here? Julia, damn, you got not. You sure it's not? You sure it's not just that? This is the first time seeing you out of uniform. You know, you spill your drink or know what to interrupt. Wait, wait, so can you wait? Don't worry, you can show ya. Only public school kids. You know what the four together. We know each other since kindergarten. Scott, it's Jeremy. I'm oh, Jeremy. On. So Jeremy, how can I say? You two were the cutest couple in fifth grade. Honestly, she dumped me about a month ago. No way, how could she? 
Yeah, let me get you a drink. Should have for that walk. We can't get into his tent with him. <clears throat> Julia, what me? You gonna go outside together? Go ahead, allow me, Scott. I should be a few minutes. Just gonna go into the front porch and wait. And wait. And wait. Finally, it's probably midnight. You go inside. Scared of what you'll find. <laughs> I said, I don't see Julia. She's over there. It's even worse than you feared. It's the best of the go count down to the yeah. I find Julia and Jeremy back from Chilling Farm. She gets impassionately. As the minute begins, she looks up and sees her. Scott, how are you? But you barely hear as you sneak off to the kitchen to drown yourself with a spark inside her. Did you find Julia? That's what I'm doing, right? So I'm in the arms of another man. <laughs> that cow. I never liked her. She didn't see this bad and not because she went to private school. She definitely takes a seat. Takes a seat and pours a drink of her own. If it was so much, why'd you invite her to your party? She gives you a smile, a slightly playful smile. Because I knew you wouldn't come once I did. Why don't I mention how you have to Jeremy? <laughs> Probably because what she found out when we were juniors. I don't even say it. Gary, Gary had like a slight tang noise. And I said, don't leave tang in. Like, I don't know why. Didn't. I spent the next year, I guess, in a way, like teenage boy can, I guess, trying to get over her junior. Then one evening in the spring of our junior year, you're getting ready for bed when you hear a knock on the window. You look down and see a familiar but tear stained face come It goes from like, our dad narrated to. Well, no. Sorry, I don't. I don't know terminology. I, I'm surprised that I graduated. How long, how long was I though? Four years ago. I don't know if that's long or, or short. I don't remember shit. <laughs> Julia, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Are you fine? Here, come inside. Kevin will come into your, into your room, through the window, and he's sitting down on your bed. Yes, God, I just... I thought a bad thing happened today, and I need to see you. Oh, my Jeremy. Did I pass through, dump you? Yes, I mean... No, I mean... <laughs> Put your arms around her, while she gathers her thoughts. My parents had a fight, so I went to Jeremy's house to tell him if I'm listening. Turns out they never broke up at all. You stand me on the side. So, Jeremy didn't deserve you. You have the way I banished you over for a year. That's nothing compared to what Jeremy did to you. What a jerk. Jeremy kept a, sm kept a smile. Just about that, even you know, you know her face is wet with tears. I think there's someone else saying it. I was thinking it, but I'm not an idiot. You're not an idiot. And what Jeremy did is not your fault. That's so weird. I told him I loved him. He said he loved me. I yeah, guess he can't mean it. He's a fool. I, I, someone will love you. Someone lucky. Why oh, makes you so sure? You hold a shoulder square after yours and look her in the eye. On the day we met, you asked me about your, my lifelong dream. The only other person I know who can start a friendship that way. I still don't know what mine is, by the way. And I'm still not willing to help you decide. She closed her eyes, parts of her lips, and goes towards you. Feel your heart rate speed at speed up as you reflectively tilt your head to the side. Just suddenly you remember yourself from quickly pull away. Do I can't do this. I have a girlfriend now. You do? Uh, who? Look down burst. That's definitely mine. I'm sorry. I know you two don't get along. She only bites her lip. You think you see you can see a trace of hurt in her eyes. It's okay. You can name whoever you want. And I'm um, congratulations. That's that. I hope we can still be friends. Yeah, okay. I like that. I'll try to make it weird. <laughs> it was weird. Stephanie refused to be around me if Julia was there, but she didn't like it when Julia and I hung out alone. Well, my mother's name isn't Stephanie, so he must have broken up eventually, right? Patience, young one. Now let's get into that. We'll never see your mom. It's probably my senior year, and I ran to Julia for the first time in two months. 
wave to her and she wants to sit down with her. Yeah, but her play for as you do. Hey, looks pretty good like you're doing a lot of season bump. I'm not alone. She's with me. I just haven't seen him since I got here. That's all. What's happening? That's why I just let you get out of my sight for two seconds. She had to go to the girls' room. She's probably back getting has a funky yourself and he runs out to where you enjoy the city. Scott, I swear I can't leave you alone for two seconds while you chat up that little that little what? That little friend of his? Because that's what we are. Seven was a rising girl's room. You flinch. Come on, Scott. It's almost time for the slow dance. They fought alone performs the enjoy with Luca Stephanie. And Julia. Look at Stephanie. You must judge the view. I'll do you better find an apartment, Stephanie. Drew. You dumped me? You wouldn't. I just did. She stared, she stared at you. Speechless and stomps away. You let out how you let out a breath and you didn't realize you was, you'd been holding it. and suddenly Julia speaks up. How do you feel? By the way, it's mostly relieved. Do you stand on your shoulders? You didn't put it in her. What kind of girl doesn't need a guy and girl can be friends? You turn her face. Then again, Mitch is right. You don't make your deep into rights, and you know you don't mean to. The truth only such pouring out of you. Julia, I've been in love with you since we were 14. I don't know if you feel the same way, but we got her in two weeks, and Julia, she kisses you sweetly, passionately, deeply, better than anyone else ever has, and better than anyone else ever will. Scott, two things. First of all, of course, I feel the same way about you. I've been mad about you since I first I saw you. You were? Then why didn't you say anything? I was trying, but you didn't seem interested. So then I tried to get over you, but they didn't join me. And then I tried to get over you, but they didn't suffer. Yeah, the only I know could have had so many happy years together. Scott, that's the second thing. You know what he published a list in the school newspaper of where all the seniors are going to college? I looked up your name on there. We were going to Grand Moore University. No way. And yeah, I was praying to get off the wait list for I feel sometimes life just works out. You guess we can. The second of many times you were that night. So Julia, you made this dance, you got a lot of lost time makeup. And just off the top of my toes. Mom, my dad, I have like you know, you will. Wait, but if they didn't college, then what about I know what happened. How if you end up letting you win after all and you have to move across the country? The silence comes over your father's face. I can't you only see in a few other times in your life. It's one of the hardest decisions I've ha I ha ever had to make. But Julia says that I'd not give up my dream school for her. <laughs> and I thought my high school used to drama. Why did it come so amazing advice? <laughs> yeah. You're so amazing, alright? Keep telling yourself that. Why are you trying long distance? What? what you get Gary? We're just gonna skip over Gary. We're just gonna ignore what he said. Okay. Why you, didn't you try long distance? This was the initial task for face base and cell phones. I call my parents once a week to waste college. Besides, I was working at some and she found someone else. My father. So it was on and then my father found us was down and realized the popcorn board is empty. Popcorn bone is empty. Okay, kids, I know if you're a real manager, but I'd rather I go make more popcorn. I know something about that. He gets some heads for the kitchen as soon as he have, he's out of the room and must be quiet with you. I get half of your dad when we're together. I haven't seen my mom's mom that since I was seven. And the way your dad was talking about her, it's pretty obvious he's so glad to do that. I don't know. My dad doesn't really date. Just my mom. It's like they're waiting for each other. Are you waiting? Uh, cool Simon. I know I can get out of here. This game is up. This is gonna be just like uh, This is gonna be just like in one of my yeah, I don't know. That's only appears in the doorway with a bowl of frosty pop popcorn. So this is gonna be like in the uh, yeah. You know those levels? You mean those games? I got a solution. Huh? He holds the bowl. Yeah dad, that's a problem. Hey, stop. You fluff a pillow and smile instantly at your dad. I know that I look, you know, give me something. What? I don't dream of it. Okay, okay. You can give me secrets. Just don't do anything dangerous, okay? Hey, mom, mom, is that we start the movie? Oh, you do. Hang on to your hat, because this is one of the funniest movies you'll ever see. Take a hand for popcorn and the opening credits for the movie start to play. I wanna watch. 
Monday morning for class. <laughs> you never arrive at home room a minute before the bell and take into your seats. <laughs> Hi, Gary, Emma. You was my party on Friday night, right? I'm drinking, so I go quiet, that's why. Emma's face lights up. Yes, of course. Someone's happy. Sorry, it's just the biggest party of the season. Man, I never thought I'd be fired. Something like it. Thank you, Caleb. You're welcome. You're welcome, Emma. I love you, Gary. Nah. I'm happy to can miss something like that. Just end the bell rings. Miss Palace quiet everyone down for the morning announcements. <laughs> Good morning, very high. And hers. Maybe you went to slightly, but kids smiling. This you're tired. And Bulldog News. They say all day is that it's the Dumbo Octopus. Or I like to call it. Did not look smart, but still intelligent octopus. We have a special guest here today to tell us about an exciting new program. Oh my god, this one huge. Mary Clouds quite lightly. Thank you, thank you. It's the pen to be here. Good morning, children. I didn't know that I have a sick in my office. Come back between classes if you want one. Okay. Good to know, but don't you have another announcement? Something with lunch? Oh, right, right. I know we are very high about making friends, so I thought to myself, why not? I also have a new program to help. <laughs> this week is Big Simple Week. Every day at lunch, you need to have at least two Barry students and two her students. You have Morgan growing in the corner of the room. But we don't want to. <laughs> it's just a week, Morgan. My object is this lame. No one wants this. It's just gonna leave people arguing in the cafeteria. Well, we only need two hard students to the table. It shouldn't be that hard, right? I hope so. You got Jade, Cameron, and Tucker. I hope so. This one has test my finger over the lips and points on TV. Now, boys and girls, I brought a book to share with you all. I can count to ten by as much as I love counting ten to ten. Looks like we're out of time for today. Once upon a time. I'm gonna be forcing this as many tech news. If you hours later at lunch, <laughs> you find your friends outside their statue. Hey, everyone, have we found two of our students yet? Yep, Jane, Cameron, this is Gary. Gary, these are two. These are, these are two are Cameron, you are and Jane are. Oh, I've met you both. I've met you both of you. This is what Jane's playing to clean up. Oh, yeah, it's clean up. It was clean up here. You would been, you and Jane were competing for a cleanup hitter in baseball. But since I'm in band, it's I've got. I've got. I'm not paying I'm not paying attention to this story. I'm just reading. It's what the fuck time is it? It's, it's, it's almost during the fucking morning. I'm not paying attention to this fucking story. Did you know that Jane's playing cleanup hitter on? The baseball team? That's unheard of for a freshman. Eh, this is bragging. This is bragging for me, Caleb. So much easier than having to do it myself. You guys can't raise this with you. Cameron, it's okay. I get it. Many people. I'm not gonna kick you out. Okay, feel. All that. Where do I sit inside of these? Was giving me middle school flashbacks. I'm still not sure why we take taking the two of her kids to every table. Taking so serious about the way. What are they gonna do? Or their lunch table check whether you are hers idea or bury one. What, you don't like having Jade here? I said, like, a minute to ask Nashville football. Are you gonna play again, Nashville? Well, that depends on what I can't find someone else decent to play quarterback. Yeah, if they don't, your home playing game was one of the most exciting ones I've been to. One well, thought if you had to pay him, Jade, but I'm afraid you're not my type. As a close your eye, you know this game looking slightly relieved. Whoa, wait, did I hit on you? I didn't mean to. What's okay, Jade? I, I really want to say, I really want to say that's my sense of humor. And I don't want to say, I, I was going to say that's my sense of humor, but then I read, I started reading. Marina, what's okay, Jade? Marina's all about asking the kid, Michael. And you're never going to let that die, are you? Only because it's Jake here when you get flustered. Do I want to know what happened? No, Cameron, you don't. Caleb okay, quickly chimes in. Hey, can we uh, go back to talk about football? Cameron, what's your take? 
I'm not basically nothing but for that language. But I like going to the games anyway. Did you go to the Hong Kong game? Yeah, honestly. My favorite part was the marching band arrangement of the first day. You're an Asian? Can you imagine arrangement? And it was quite red. You felt that? And the piece? You're performing in the spring? Dude, that's amazing. Technically, arranging is different than posing, but thank you. I oh, know, I'm so jealous though. We can't do either. Yeah, man, maybe Haiti can teach you. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure my problem is really something that can be taught anyway. I like the idea of composing, but whenever I try, it doesn't come to me. My muse, as they say. You need a muse? That gives me an idea. Myra. It's not creative, though. That is your story about the creative writing was captivating. But this is fun, too. So, I can tell it was fan fiction about the name she changed. That's the point she killed by Grigley and everyone seems to have. Seems to join for Cameron and Dre there. Not Tucker? What? Why not Tucker? Where's who stole Tucker? Who stole Tucker? I'm gonna fuck my girl. I'm gonna fuck. Come on, Michael. Admit it. Okay, fine. For once, people who use greatly cannot got an idea and wrestle with that well. Is it okay if I say we get them out? I'll go straight. I see my brother and I are having an party this evening. It's Friday evening, and I'd love if you come. He paused for a second before adding, You too, Cameron. This mouth is here. This mouth is here of both Cameron and Jay's faces. I don't know. I've just got a lot of homework. Alright, Friday? Yeah, you know, get out of the way early. I don't think I'll be able to make it either. Friday night is usually fairly late. You two are sure about that. Neither look at you, respond. Let's go up. I get it. Miss Rita Bell rings at the moment, never one gets up to head to the next class. That afternoon, at the band practice, please end this chapter already. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm, I want to excuse to stop drinking this drink. I don't really need an excuse, but. Tired and my brain starts to just fade away. I'm surprised that you mean these words right. I think. While you're stopping by your locker, your phone bubbles, you know, it's a test for Gary, yeah, I need your help. What is it? I thought I held it. Wait, let's, let's do it? Okay. I need you to create Cameron and Jay to come to Caleb's party. Cameron can follow Aiden and Jay can follow Caleb. Why don't you do it yourself? You're good at this stuff. If I ask Caleb, if I ask Caleb and Aiden, if I ask Caleb, Caleb and Aiden will know exactly why. If you do, then I just believe it's because you're really nice. Fair. Like, I'm afraid everyone leaves the school. Come in, Cameron and OJ to come to the party and. Let's go to convince Jade. You find Jade doing stretches on the base. Hey, Jade, you're not going to Caleb's party? Is that a problem? No, but you should go because you just have fun. You make a deal. When they spell it out, the guys on the team kill me. I have to work twice as hard just to get them to take me seriously. I can't just forget that now. You're really that scared of Mass and Brian? Can I point out one thing? We're either a sophomore or a junior. I'm. Open. I'm. Eh. I'm hoping that we just a sophomore because I would think it's pretty fucking weird if we were juniors and um Caleb was going after Jade, who was a freshman. Jade is a freshman. If Caleb is a junior. You know that, you know that, that this Kendrick made? Certified little boy, certified. Mm hmm. Why are you trolling like a bitch? Did you die? Put, trying to stroke a cord, and it's probably a minor. 
No. Because the juniors can be a senior, she's the only can be a, a, a sophomore. It's gonna get kind of weird. So I'm hoping. I'm, I believe I'm, I'm after that. And saying that he's only a sophomore. But, 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 Caleb, he was so close to beating Like, Brian. Okay, younger girls. Like, dude. Dude. Also, I want to point out that, that we, we are sophomores. I, I believe Caleb is too, but Gary is a sophomore. Maria is a junior. <laughs> and, like, in the um, spin-off book, um, High School Story Class Act, Maria's a senior, and we're a junior, and everyone else is a senior, is graduating, and we're still you know, stuck in school. But, like, I, that's kind of what I found out, like, she's a whole grade above me. Like, I was assuming we were the same age, and like, if you can remember that far back, what, uh, like, we, we booked out, we went into Christopher Lisa's office and found, like, all the files she had. Well, not office, but, like, in the secret room where all of the, like, files were kept. <laughs> it was a list of everyone's names and all their grades I forgot. But looking at that, I just start remembering, like, it was, like, she like, some, in a friend group, just, like, sophomores, juniors. Seniors, I don't think there were any freshmen, but it's still. And he's like, yeah, dang it. Read the whole grade above us. And it's like. It's not gonna kind of suck, because then she's gonna. Because that one. She's, she's, she's gonna graduate. We're still gonna be a C. We're still gonna be a junior. She's gonna be in college while we're a senior in high school. That not weird? I'm not weird. They're not weird. And it's gonna be eventually the same case with like Caleb and Jade. Right? No one. Okay, never mind. I mean, Matt's less so since he's graduated in June. But Brian and the other upperclassmen, yeah, kinda. It's easy to brush off sitting with you guys as I just sit somewhere. Go to the party is more a statement. So, real one for those guys. You want to go to the party. Yeah, I would. Okay, I got an idea. Yeah. Maybe. And we're not supposed to party. Not see how, tell them you want to see how it was compared to house parties. You think people would buy that? Brian would. That does sound like something he said. Okay, if you're sure to be this work, I'll be there. I will. It will, I swear. You should also talk to the camera. I know they were nervous about going to. I'm not just doing that. Touch the shade. Bye, Gary. Yeah. I mean, I paid for it, so I'm gonna talk to them. <laughs> if I came in polishing their socks from the band room, I came in. Are you sure you don't want to go to Kill's party on Friday? It was weird to get the offer, but yeah, I'm sure. But it'll be, but it'll be a free opportunity to make more friends at Barry. And that's what I'm worried about. Why is that? Listen, you're really nice people, but not everyone is, is especially at first. I just want to get involved in a school of rivalry, especially now that we're in close quarters. It's not a bear party, it's just a party. You won't be the only first kid there, I promise. You don't want to make a political statement. If people ask, say you heard it was going to be a party, and didn't even think about it. Alright, I got you make this sound easy. Will be and you have fun. So the Jade, I think she's the first part going to do. Yep, she'll be there. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye Gary. You, you pull out your phone and text my again. Who's going down? Why are you people Why? Why are you people up at three in the fucking morning? My goddamn mom and brother both beat up at like, three in the damn morning. And both the rooms are both the rooms are on the door. Yeah, come out the room. 
they're gonna bother the other one if they see it. If they see the other one, they're gonna start talking to each other. And if I hear them, I just, I just go up like, how you doing? Okay, but I'm gonna have to, they'll both of you there. Woo, this is gonna be the best party ever. I thought it was okay. Bye. I almost had your TTLY. You smiled pretty far away and head home. Friday evening. You're now in the room for the party. We get touch with Michael. Okay, where are you? You get the party is up. Is everything okay? I have mashed grass and just talking smart about you. Should I stop people from phoning you for crumb cake? Look, look it's bad. I'll be right over. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Down with some major damage control. Squeak squeak. Hitting the squeak squeak. We're ending on squeak squeak. Will you be able to turn Kayla's party in your camper campaign around? Find out in the shelter if I squeeze up. <coughs> ah, 41 fucking minutes. I don't get why it says it's 10 minutes long, but then. I guess it's 10 minutes long if you can pay for any time and choices to make the scenes go longer. But it should say that. It should say it's from blah 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 minutes. And let me tell me that for myself. Anyways. Okay. Bye-bye.